What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down Travis Kelsey and his route running ability. A lot of people think he is the best tight end in the NFL, and I think he has some of the best routes in the NFL for as big as he is for his size. And today we're going to break down what makes him so special and why he's such a weapon in the Chiefs offense. Guys, please leave in the comments who you would like to see me break down next. Let's get started. So he's going to be running a fade right here. Now, this is how you run a fade when this DB's bailing, okay? So if he just tries to run up into this route, DB's obviously faster than him. He's going to play it. He's going to wall him into the sideline. He's going to be covered, right? So we got to give him something off the line. So let's watch this thing full speed and we'll break it down. So he sells like he's going to be running a slant, gets that DB to jump inside, accelerates out of this break, and then bursts up. So he comes off. We can't really see his first step, but that's his first step off the line right here, this left foot. Then he goes two, three. So he's selling like he's running a three-step slant, right? He's exploding off of this third step, and he gives his head and his shoulders to the inside, fully committing his shoulders to this slant. Now what that does is that's going to get this DB to bite. He wants to jump that slant. They've probably been beating him on this slant all game, right? And then the, the number two receiver is running a flat. That's a that's a common concept. You you got a slant, you got a flat. Quarterback's reading this linebacker. Corner wants to jump this jump this route. Mahomes does a good job of recognizing that he's going to get some separation. Or no, this is Alex Smith. Excuse me. One two jab to the inside, head and shoulder movement to the inside. That's what sells this thing, guys. It's not completely a slow go because he's not going full three steps. He's just giving you three step slant, selling like he's going there and exploding up. Now, the main thing I want you to see is when this DB jumps inside, he doesn't look back right away, right? He's a bigger guy. This DB is a lot quicker than he is, so he's got to get some separation first, right? So he's got to keep his head down for about three steps. Okay, I haven't beat. I haven't beat by three steps. I have enough separation to make this catch. Smith does a good job of dropping this thing, putting some air on it. Kelsey catches this ball, and then his score, that's a Big time route by Travis Kelsey because when we have size, guys, we gotta be able to, we can't just run up into this route, okay? We can't just body him. Sometimes that might work, but against a better DB, we gotta give him something. Sell the three step slant, give your head and your shoulders to the slant, then burst up field. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. One, two, burst up to the inside, head and shoulder movement. Guys, I can't stress that enough. You bigger guys, you bigger wide receivers, you tight ends, we got to be able to use our head and our shoulders. And now this is another great example of a stick nod route where he uses his head and his shoulders to create separation off the line and at the top of the route. So let's watch this thing full speed. So he gives a double move off the line, one, two, gets him to turn those hips, gets him to open up, takes the outside release, then catches this ball in tight coverage. Quarterback makes a good throw, so we're going to break this down. So he's making a double move right here. So he's got, he wants to take an outside release, right? So the goal is to get him to turn his hips or just to lean inside just a little bit. So he's got to give him a move. So he gives him a one, two, right? Head and shoulders to the inside. What does that do? DB opens up the gate, wants to force him to the inside. That's what this DB's thinking right now. Now he wants to take this outside release. Where does Kelsey attack? You got to have a plan with your feet and you got to have a plan with your hands. He attacks the back elbow of this linebacker, right? That's a point of control. Kelsey's a big guy. All we got to do is be physical, attacks the back elbow to get some separation. That's a good job. And also, one, two, he's exploding off of this step. He keeps a good pad level position. You taller guys love to stand up when we make a release off the line. We got to stay low. We got to stay explosive. And we got to explode off the inside portion of our foot so we can get some push and accelerate up into this route. Has a plan for his hands, slap, chop. And when he brings this opposite arm over, guys, he doesn't swing it way over the top. He protects his rib cage because if he tries to pop him inside his frame and knock him off this route, all he has to do is chop down like he just did. That's a great job when you need to take an outside release, take using a double move, so going right, left. Now he sells like he's just running, going to be running this stick route, just turn around, gives a little bit of a one-two, right? So one-two. Again, head and shoulder movement to the outside, sudden feet, quick feet, exploding off the inside portion of his foot. What does this do? Why does he give head and shoulder movement so much to the inside? Because this linebacker is going to try to jump it. He's going to get greedy, and he's going to try to jump this route. Now he's over the top of him. I like this matchup in the red zone because Kelsey has leverage, and then all we have to do is throw an accurate ball. DB has or linebacker has no chance to make a play on this ball. That's a great job by Travis Kelsey working the stick nod route. So let's watch this thing full speed one more time. Coming out, one, two, head and shoulder movement, take the inside release, one, two to the outside, and catch this ball up, of the, se up the seam for a great job. Okay, so now he's going to be running a corner route, common route that tight ends run. The main thing I want you to focus on is his eyes and his shoulders here, guys. So let's watch this thing full speed, then we'll break it down. So he's coming off the line of scrimmage, eyes to the inside, stick. Mahomes gives him a good ball over the top for a big catch. So... Main thing, off the line of scrimmage, right? Look where his eyes are. He starts his stem out wide, right? Head and shoulders to the outside, squares up this DB, right? Attacking his midline. Now he gives his eyes to the inside. Now what does that do? That's going to make him jump inside. He wants to jump this route. He wants to play this thing. He wants to stay on this hip so he can make a play on the ball over the middle. You see Kelsey he runs a lot of drags, and we're going to break that down later in the film. He runs a lot of drags, a lot of things over across the formation. He's a bigger guy, right? So he sells this thing with his eyes. Now when he makes this stick to the post here, stick. 
Head and shoulder movement to the inside. What does that do? He's jumping the route. He wants to stay inside. He wants to make a good play on the ball. He doesn't want to get beat over the middle when he's playing coverage like this. Stick in the ground. He's exploding off of this inside arch. My fault. He's exploding off of this inside arch here. And again, having a plan for his hands, right? He always has a plan for his hands, even at the top of the route. Not just the release, even at the top of the route. He wants to chop him by again. What did I say about protecting that rib cage? Keeps those elbows nice and tight. Anytime we chop over the top, anytime we sw or not swim, but chop over the top, we want to protect our rib cage, guys. We can't go super high because if we go super high and this arm's up here, all this DB can do is pop and recover and knock us off that route, give us a good shot to the rib cage. And now he's on. This guy's trying to guard one of the best tight ends in the game with no hands on him. That's a recipe for disaster. And then all Mahomes has to do is give him an accurate ball over the top. That's a great job by Kelsey using his eyes, selling this post or some kind of drag over the middle by giving this linebacker his eyes to the inside, stick with head and shoulder movement to the inside, and then bursting up field to this corner. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. You got, you're got you going to get the DBs to cheat inside if we give them more eyes. If we don't give them more eyes, guys, let's say Kelsey was just looking outside the entire time. He's not going to get any separation because DB knows exactly where he's going. He's going to be playing your eyes. He's going to be playing your body. Well, he's not going to be playing your eyes. He's going to be playing your body. But if you commit your eyes, you're going to commit your shoulders, and then we're going to get some separation. So let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So coming off, eyes to the inside, shoulders to the inside, sudden stick, explode up on this 45-degree angle, then catch this ball. Great job by Travis Kelsey using his eyes to get some separation. Okay, so he's going to be right here, kind of in the slot, kicked out, slot a little bit tight. Now, this is a crazy play. This is where Kelsey pitches the ball. We're going to watch this thing full speed, and then we're going to break it down. So Mahomes escapes out of the pocket feeling pressure, right? Feeling backside pressure. Kelsey knows that Mahomes can make these throws, so he's just got to find open space. And now he pitches it. That's just him being an athlete. I don't even know if I like that play that much. But here's the main thing, quarter or receivers, tight ends, whoever's watching this. When the quarterback gets out of the pocket, we got to work, right? So we already know we got a guy running in this direction. Kelsey has great field awareness. So he's not going to run this way, too. You might say, oh, well, why didn't he just keep, get, keep going out this way? We already got a guy there. We got a guy here. We got a guy here. He knows Mahomes can make these throws. Let's go find some open space. Everybody's going this way. Mahomes has enough arm talent to make this throw back across the field. So let's go find some open space for him. And that's exactly what he does. Find some open space and works back. That's what we call working without the ball. In the route, doesn't matter. Quarterback gets out of the pocket. It's scramble drill. It's like you're playing flag football at recess almost. So Mahomes is coming out, drops his ball over the top. Now, Kelsey does a good job. Over the middle, right? Let's go up and high point it, okay? Let's not wait for this ball and take a shot from this DB. Let's go up and high point this ball because that's going to cut the flight path down. And this is a long throw. This ball was in the air for a little while. It's a tough throw to make for that quarterback. Let's cut the flight path out. Let's make sure we catch this ball before anybody else catches this ball. And then he does a good job of coming down. And then pitching that ball, that's a crazy play. That's that's unbelievable. If that didn't work, that's one of the dumbest plays ever, but it did work. And Kelsey's so athletic, such a big play for him. Go up and high point this ball and work without the ball. That's what I want you guys to get out of this, guys. Work without the ball. Quarterback gets out of the pocket. We've got to find some open space. Now, if your quarterback can't make those throws, I'm, I necessarily don't like that. But he knows he's got Patrick Mahomes back here, okay? That definitely helps making those throws. But if your quarterback cannot make those throws, don't just be running over there for the sake of running over there, okay? In that situation, what Kelsey did, if this quarterback can't make the throw, maybe come back downhill, okay? Come back to him. Maybe work deep, work up deep. But if he can't make those, those throws, he doesn't have the arm talent like that. I don't even like saying arm talent. He doesn't have the arm strength like that. Don't don't cut back across the field, okay? Start coming back down to the ball. Scramble drill rules, rules is if you're deep, you want to come back downhill. If you're running right, you want to come back left. If you're running left, you want to come back right. And then if you're running a short route, you want to go deep, okay? So it's kind of opposite. Like if you're running a hitch, you want to go up on, to a fade. If you're running a fade, you want to come back downhill and vice versa. You just got to find some open space. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So Mahomes is coming out. Kelsey sees him scrambling. Let's go find some open space. Mahomes makes his throw back across the field. High point this ball and then just be an athlete. That's a great job by Travis Kelsey. Okay. So now this route we're going to break down here. He's going to be running a drag like we talked about. Now this is a DB pressing him. Okay. A little bit smaller than Kelsey if I had to say. So I want you to see how he uses this press release. Receivers, sometimes this is all you can do, right? This is all you, this is all you have to do sometimes. Let's watch this thing full speed then we'll break it down. So he comes out. Just physical. Head down across the formation. Let's get some separation. Let's catch this ball across the field. It's a great job. So off the line of scrimmage, right? 
He sees this DB, good base, right? But he's off. So let's close the gap with him and let's be physical. Let's just get his hands off of us, right? Let's be the hammer and not be the nail. Let's not just sit here and wait for this DB to get hands on us, right? If we got to get up into this dragon, if we just try to go right now, DB's going to get hands. He's faster than us. I don't like that, right? He's going he's gonna to be able to run stride for stride with us. We're not going to be open. we got to create some separation and we got to make this thing happen fast because it's a longer developing play and we got to get into the route, right? So if he were to waste all this time at the if he took – three steps, four steps, and try to break this guy's ankles, it would screw up the timing of the play, right? He knows he's got to get up into this route because it's a longer developing play. So what he does here is let's just push off of him, right? Let's just go. Let's be the hammer. Good pad level, right? Good pad level. Let's be physical. Coaches don't really talk about this, right? We could just be physical sometimes. We close the gap with him. It's almost like a block, right? We're in an explosive pad level position. He's on his heels. That's money every time. Just push him off. Get hands off of him. And now we're running stride for stride across the field. He's trailing us. That's a good job by Kelsey right there. Not looking until he gets to the proper depth. Knows this ball is going to be coming in that second window. Mahomes gives him a good ball. And then he's bursting up field for a great job great job by kelsey just being physical off the line of scrimmage bigger receivers use it to your advantage smaller guys we might have to give him something we might have to hesitate off this line of scrimmage and then give him a double move but bigger guys man we could just be physical if we're bigger than this db if we know we're stronger than this db we got an explosive pad level coming at him we're going to be able to just be physical and push him off we get him on his heels we're going to get separation let's watch this thing full speed one more time so coming off get those hands off push him across the field head down pumping those arms let's catch this ball let's burst up field and let's go make a big play. That's a great job by Travis Kelsey. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. Again, please leave in the comments any questions you guys might have, any comments, um, who you would like to see me break down next. I really appreciate that, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.